Yeah, hi everyone. Welcome to My Max Academy. In this video, we'll start with the chapter Real Numbers, which is the first chapter for 10th Standard CBC Mathematics. Fine. Okay? So before we get on to the chapter Real Numbers, we'll try to understand what is a real number. We need to understand what is a real number. Before we even we go and understand what is a real number, we'll talk about other set of numbers that we have in mathematics. Then we will go to what is a real number. So the first set of numbers that we have is natural numbers. Natural numbers. The natural numbers are denoted by the letter N, capital N. And the natural numbers starts from, they start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, dot, 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 dot. It keeps on going to infinity. The next set of numbers that we have is whole numbers. Whole numbers are denoted by the letter W. Whole numbers are denoted by the letter W. And the whole numbers, they start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Dot, dot, dot. Keeps on going till infinity. Right? So, 0 is a whole number. So, it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3. Natural numbers start from 1, 2, 3. Suppose if you take 1, 1 is also a whole number. Because 1 is a natural number, but 1 is also a whole number. 2 is a natural number, but 2 is also a whole number. But if you take 0, 0 is a whole number, but it is not a natural number. Which means we can say every natural number is a whole number. 5 is a natural number, it is a whole number because 5 is here. So every natural number is a whole number. But the reverse is not true. Every whole number is not a natural number because 0 is a whole number, but 0 is not a natural number. Then what we have next set is um, integers. Integers. Integers are denoted by the letter Z. Sometimes with the letter I, R I, Z R I. Mostly it's denoted by the letter Z, and it consists of dot dot dot. We don't know where it starts. Minus three, comma minus two, comma minus one, zero, one, two, three, dot 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 dot. It also goes on till infinity. So it means it will have the negative numbers also. So, it will have all the numbers of whole numbers and the corresponding negative numbers also. Right? So, which means, suppose we take 3, 3 is a whole number, but 3 is also an integer. 2 is a whole number, 2 is also an integer. 0 is a whole number, 0 is also an integer. Right? So, every whole number is an integer. Even every natural number is a, an integer. But every integer is not a whole number or every integer is not a natural number because you can say 0 is a integer. Is it's a whole number also, but if you take minus 1, minus 1 is a integer, minus 1 is an integer, but minus 1 is not a whole number. So, similarly, minus 2 is an integer, but minus 2 is not a whole number. So, because whole numbers are natural numbers, they don't have negative numbers. So, integers are collection of both positive numbers, 0 and negative numbers. Fine. The next set of numbers that we have is very important, that is called as rational numbers. Rational numbers and they are denoted by the letter Q. Q is the symbol to denote the set of rational numbers. And rational numbers, we don't know where they start from because, because, or we cannot list them like this. We cannot list the numbers like this because if I write one rational number, then and then if I write another rational number, there are many rational numbers between any two rational numbers. So we can't write it as a sequence. We cannot write it as a sequence like this 0, 1, 2, like that. Because if I write one rational number and another rational number, there are many rational numbers in between them. So, any two rational numbers I take, there are infinitely many rational numbers between them. So, I can't list the rational numbers or I cannot write it like a sequence. So, which means we need to have a definition to define the rational number. So, I'll define the rational numbers, then I'll tell you what is the rational number. Fine. So, now rational number is any number, any number which can be which can be expressed expressed in the form of in the form of p by q where p comma q p and q right where p and q are integers P and Q are integers 
and q is not equal to 0 right so what is the definition of a, a rational number a rational number is any number which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 so what does it mean what does this mean suppose let's take an, a, a number suppose if you take 2 by 3 let's say the number 2 by 3 so obviously this 2 by 3 is not an integer the 2 by 3 is not here 2 by 3 is not here 2 by 3 is not here now this is called as a rational number why because what is the numerator so this is in this form p by q it is like p by q in this form now what is p it is like p by q 2 by 3 is like p by q now what is p numerator is p denominator is q so what is p so p is 2 q is 3 p is 2 q is 3 now are these two integers p and q are integers which means 2 and 3 do they belong to this then this is a set of integers do we have 2 and 3 here yes 2 is there 3 is there so therefore they are integers and q should not be equal to 0 and q is what q is 3 which is not equal to 0 so 2 by 3 is in this form p by q form where p is 2 q is 3 and p and q which means 2 and 3 are integers and q which is 3 not equal to 0 q is not denominator should not be equal to 0 therefore 2 by 3 is a rational number 2 by 3 is a rational number i can take this as the first example or let's take the second example suppose so i take a number minus 7 by 11 minus 7 by 11 now again here what is p so here p is the numerator which is minus 7 and your q is the denominator which is 11 now are these two numbers integers now minus 7 is it present here minus 7 do we see minus 7 here don't say minus number is not minus 7 is not here because this is minus 3 if i write minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 7 will come right here there are many number minus 7 minus 8 it goes on so minus 7 is here it's an integer 11 is there after 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 11 is there if i keep on writing 11 will come so both are integers and q is not equal to 0 denominator denominator q is not equal to 0 so they are integers so this condition is satisfied this condition is also satisfied so q is not equal to 0 because q is 11 here so therefore we can say minus 7 by 11 you can say q is not equal to 0 p and q are integers q is not equal to 0 therefore minus 11 is a rational number rational number fine now let's take another example third example suppose number 5 just number 5 is it a rational number <coughs> rational number means it should be in this form p by q form <coughs> is it in the form of p by q uh, p is the numerator there is a denominator nothing is there we have only 5 what is there in the denominator we have 5 can be written as 5 by 1 so any number can be written as that number by 1 7 can be written as 7 by 1 9 can be written as 9 by 1 so any number it has always have a 1 in the denominator now it is in the form of p by q now what is p p is 5 what is q q is 1 and it is not equal to 0 so p and q are 5 and 1 5 and 1 are integers and 1 denominator is not equal to 0 denominator is 1 which is not equal to 0 therefore 5 is a rational number right now let's take one other example fourth fourth example is we will have minus suppose 11 is minus 11 a rational number is the question now minus 11 can be written as i told you minus 11 by 1 any number can be written as we have by 1 now again what is p here p is minus 11 the numerator what is q q is 1 and q is not equal to 0 and p and q are integers minus 11 will come here if i keep on writing minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 minus 10 minus 11 will come and also 1 1 is here so they are integers and denominator is not equal to 0 therefore minus 11 is a rational number clear now fifth example 
zero number zero is it a rational number we will say it is not a rational number right that's what you are thinking right zero is it a rational number answer is yes it is a rational number because again as i said above zero can be written as zero by one now what is p p is a numerator p is what zero what is q q is one p is numerator which is zero q is one are the integers zero and one are the integers are they present here uh, zero is there one is there they are integers and the denominator q should not be equal to zero q is what one which is not equal to zero your p can be zero your p can be zero but your q cannot be zero right your p can be zero because definition says p and q are zero. q only should not be equal to zero here our p is zero but q is one which is not equal to zero therefore it is a rational number therefore zero is a rational number zero is a rational number clear now we will take some more example let me raise these two let us this let us this also <coughs> i will write the integers here just for our reference integers integers are from dot 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 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 dot 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 goes up so this is integers now let's take another example sixth one 0 0.3 number 0 0.3 is it a rational number then i told you every number has one in the denominator 0 0.3 by 1 i can write this as 0 0.3 by 1 so can i say now the numerator p is what 0 0.3 what is q 1 are the integers is p 0 0.3 is an integer is 0 0.3 present here no 0 0.3 is not because well, we have 0 1 2 3 here minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 there is no decimal numbers there in integers we don't have decimal numbers <coughs> which has decimal part right so 0 0.3 is not a, an integer so this condition has failed p and q both should be integer but p is not an integer here so we cannot say this condition has failed so it is not a rational number we cannot say because the definition says any number which can be expressed in the form of p by q it need not be when it is given it need not be in the form of p by q but as long as you can change that number in the form of p by q then we call that as a rational number now can we change this 0 0.3 in terms of fraction so here we cannot write we cannot take like this we cannot take like this fine so what we'll do is we'll we'll write this 0 0.3 as 0 0.3 by 1 i'm going to convert this in this form p by q form then i'll put what i need to remove the decimal so into 10 by 10 <coughs> because we have one number after the decimal point so 0 0.3 into 10 which is 3 by 1 into 10 is 10 so 0 0.3 is same as 3 by 10 which means we have converted the decimal to a fraction <coughs> Right, 0 0.3 is what? 3 by 10. Now, now this is in the form of p by q. What is p? p is 3. q is 10. p is 3, q is 10 are the integers. Yes, it will come. 3 I have written 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It goes till 100, 1 lakh, 1 crore. It keeps on going. Here also negative sign, it keeps on going. So, 10 is an integer, 3 is also an integer. They will come here. They are present in this set. So therefore, and q is not equal to 0. Denominator is not equal to 0. Therefore, 0 0.3 is a rational number. Clear? Fine. So now next example, example 7. I will take example 7. Example 7 is, suppose if you have the number 33.89. Suppose if I have the number 3.89. Now, is it a rational number? Now, we need to convert the decimal into a fraction form. How will you convert a decimal into a fraction form? I told you 3.89 means 3.89 by 1. Always 1 is there. We do not want to have a decimal in the numerator or decimal in the denominator. So, we will say into, there are how many numbers after decimal? Two numbers. So, I will multiply by 100, divide by 100. So, my 3.89 will become 389. So multiply 3.89 with 100, 389 by 1 into 100 is 100. 1 into 100 is 
100. So, what is my P? P is 389. My Q is 100. Are they integers? Yes, they are present here. So, they are integers. Both these numbers are integers because when you keep on, I have written only till 1, 2, 3. Written till 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It goes here also, left side also it goes. So, if I keep on writing, 100 will come. 389 also will come. So, they are integers. And the denominator Q is, should not be equal to 0. It is not equal to 0. Therefore, 3.89 is a rational number. So, the given form may not be like a P by Q form. But as long as you can convert this in the form of P by Q, where numerator is an integer, denominator is an integer and denominator not equal to 0, then that number is called as a <coughs> rational number. Fine. Now, we will see one more example, which is example, suppose 8th example. Suppose if I have a number 0 0.6666666, it keeps on going. This never ends. This never ends. We call this as this as a non-terminating decimal expansion. We call this as non-terminating decimal expansion, which means decimal after the decimal, numbers keep going and also it is repeating 6 is repeating but let's take 0 0.6666 dot 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 it goes now how do we express this is it a rational number question is is it a rational number then we should try to convert this into fraction so 0 0.6666 dot 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 keeps on going by 1 anything is given then by 1 is there then into what I have to put? Here I have to put into one, how many zeros I should put? So that I will not have any decimal here. We don't know because this goes to infinity. 0 0.6666666, it goes to infinity. So we don't know how many zeros we can put so that this will become an integer. So it is not possible to convert using this technique or into 100 like how we did here. We cannot use the same technique here. So, we need to have a different process to convert. It is a rational number because this can be written as 2 by 3. Right? How, how do I know that 0 0.6666 is dot 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 equal to 2 by 3? Because how to convert a, a decimal, a number whose decimal expansion is non-terminating but repeating. Non-terminating means dot 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 means non-terminating. It is not stopping, non-stop. That is the meaning of non-terminating and repeating. Repeating means 666 six, six is repeating. 6 keeps repeating. Dot 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 means what is that? 6666666666. It goes. So, how to convert such numbers to a fraction? Right? I have done it in my 9th standard video. You can check my 9th standard video where the first chapter where you will see that how to convert this into this. Anyway, that is not required for your 10th standard. So, you need not worry about that. How to convert 0 0.6666 dot 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 to 2 by 3. But the point that I am trying to make here is the value of 0 0.6666 dot 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 6 is going on is 2 by 3 because I can express this number in the form of p by q. I mean, if you divide this, you will find that. So if you divide 2 by 3, then 2 does not go to so 0. Point, then you have 2, 3, 20, point, 6, 18 times. 2, then you can put any number of zeros after this one point. You bring down 20, again 6 times 18, then 20, 0, again 6 times 18, again 2. So it will keep on going. So it will keep on going. 0 0.6666. That is why 2 by 3. 0 0.6666666 forever is 2 by 3. It will never stop. It will keep on repeating that. So therefore, now here what is P? For P is 2. What is Q? Q is 3 which is not equal to 0. Therefore, 0 0.6666666 dot 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 is a rational number. It's a rational. Clear? So, what is the rational number? Fine. So, next one is, suppose if you have, suppose if you have a number like 0 0.6, if I call you, is it a 0 0.6, that's all. It is stopping. There is no dot 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 dot. If you call it whether it is a rational number, we will say it is a rational number because this can be written as 0 0.6 by 1, then into 10 by 10, it will become 6 by 10. If I have 0 
then this can be done as by 1 so into 100 by 100 so this will also become 66 by 100 right so if you if i have 0 0.666 and stops it is not dot 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 like this then i can put by 1 then multiply and divide by 1000 we get 666 by 1000 which is in the form of p by q where p and q are integers q not equal to 0 right we can use this technique for these kind of things where it stops where there is no dot 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 you can use this technique but whenever dot 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 is there to convert this into this form you can check my 9 standard video in the first chapter right how to convert this into this but anyway you need not worry about how to convert this into this in 10 standard fine you, you might have already studied in your 9 standard you just need to go and you can take your textbook or you can see my video for the 9 standard CBAC first chapter so I have shown how to convert this I have shown how to convert this to this right anyway that is not required here but we need to know that anything that is repeating 666 it can be converted in the form of p by q which is 2 by 3 in this case it is 2 by 3 fine so this is the example of a rational number now we will go to the next section which is called as which is the section is irrational number so i'll erase this also what is an irrational number what is an irrational number so irrational number now what is an irrational number definition of an irrational number the definition is very easy because you will say a, a, a number which is not a rational number is an irrational number a number which is not a natural number I'm sorry, a number which is not a rational number, I'm sorry, a number which is not a rational number, you call that as an irrational number. So, the, the, the very simple definition is a number which is not a rational number. Rational number, that is called as irrational number. A number which is not a rational number is called as an irrational number, that is fine. Or the more, the, the most a perfect or a neat definition or the right definition would be I am writing here as a second one that is a number whose decimal expansion whose decimal expansion or we call it as a decimal part also in the bracket I am saying decimal part decimal part a number whose decimal expansion meaning decimal part right is non terminating terminating and non repeating non repeating or it is also called as non recurring non recurring non terminating uh, so non repeating is the same as non terminating so a number whose decimal expansion or decimal part is non terminating and non repeating is called as rational irrational number is called as irrational number irrational number clear so the definition is a number whose decimal expansion or decimal part is non terminating or non repeating is called as a as an irrational number it's called as an as an irrational number here now we will see some of the examples for irrational number suppose let's take a number suppose i have one point first number 1.285738 dot 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 if i ask whether this number is a rational number or irrational number now we need to check the definition. It is very easy to check the definition of the irrational number and decide whether rational or irrational for such numbers. So what we see is let's see this. So what is the decimal part? Dot 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 is there. Dot 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 means non-terminating. So this condition is satisfied. The two conditions should be satisfied for a number to be irrational. So this number satisfies the first condition, which means non-terminating. The decimal part. This is the decimal part. The decimal part. The numbers after decimal. One point. The decimal part which is non-terminating and 
we have to check so non terminating is satisfied is it non repeating which means that the same number or same set of numbers should not repeat here it's not repeating see 2 8 5 7 3 8 different different numbers are coming so they are not repeating so it is non repeating so it is non terminating non terminating means dot 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 non repeating means no number is repeating so it is a rational number irrational number it is an irrational number because the definition the the definition of an irrational number is satisfied so it is an irrational number right it is an irrational number now let's take an example second one suppose if i say have one or anything 51.3728 Two eight two eight dot 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 dot. I say like this. Now, if I ask you whether it is a rational number or irrational number, then you have to check whether it is non-terminating or non-repeating. Whether both are satisfied, then it is irrational. Even if one of them fails, it is rational number. Now, let's check this. Now, it is it is an irrational number. So, first one is an irrational number. Now, this one. This has non terminating, which means dot 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 means this condition is satisfied. The moment you see dot 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 dot, then it is non terminating. The decimal part is non terminating, decimal expansion or decimal part. So, this is non terminating. You need not worry about the number before decimal, the only number in the decimal part of the number. So, this one is non terminating. So, non repeating, which means nothing should not, no number should repeat or no set of numbers should repeat. Now, if you see here, you see this this 28 is repeating 28 28 28 it is repeating so it is repeating it's not non repeating so this condition is failing non repeating means it should not repeat but here it is repeating this condition is true non terminating is true dot 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 but it is repeating this condition is failing therefore it is a it, this is rational number rational number because you are Decimal expansion is non terminating but repeating. It is the reason is I will write the reason it is non terminating. And repeating. So it is rational. If it is non terminating and non repeating, then it becomes irrational. This one is non terminating and non repeating here. This case is non terminating. and non repeating this case is this case is non terminating and non repeating but this case is non terminating but repeating because this 282828 is repeating the third one third example is we have suppose if i have 8.07 Zero zero seven zero 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 seven zero 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 seven dot 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 dot. Now is it a rational or irrational? I'm not put the arrow. I'm just putting right. So what is this is called as zero point seven? So eight point zero seven zero zero seven triple zero seven zero 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 dot 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 dot. Now we have to check dot 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 means we can say it is non-terminating non terminating because it is dot 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 so it is non terminating then is it repeating anything is repeating don't say sir 07 is here 07 is here 07 is here 07 is here the same set should repeat if it is 07 then immediately after this 07 i should have 07 again i should have 07 or if it is 007 i should have 007 but i have 0007 so here it is not repeating it is non terminating and non repeating. Therefore, it is an irrational number. Irrational number. Because it is non terminating and non repeating. Clear? Fine. The next one, let us take one more example. Right? Suppose if I have 335, 358 point. 8285. Now, first we should check whether dot 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 is there. Dot 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 is there. No, dot 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 is not there. 
If dot 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 is not there, then what it means? It is terminating. This condition is failing. Non terminating means dot 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 should be there. There is no dot 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 dot, which means it is terminating. So the reason is it is terminating. Terminating means what? Stopping. Terminating. Terminating means it has stopped. There is no dot 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 dot. So the moment it is terminating, we need not check the second condition because first condition itself is failing. First condition itself is failing because it is saying terminating because it has stopped. Therefore, the moment it stops, there is no dot 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 dot. The moment you don't see dot 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 dot, it is immediately rational. Rational number because it is terminating. You need not check the second condition whether repeating or not repeating. Only if it is dot 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 dot, you will check whether it is repeating or non repeating. But if it is there is no dot 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 dot, you will say terminating. The moment it is terminating, it will become rational number because terminating means this condition is failed. Yeah, I need non terminating. That condition is failed. The moment the condition is failed means it is not an irrational number. It is not an irrational number means it should be a rational number because a number can be either a rational number or a rational number. It cannot be both. Clear? So it is a rational number. Clear? Fine. I will give one more example. 5.8728285285 dot 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 dot. Now is it a rational or rational? Now the moment dot 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 means what? It is non terminating. Non terminating. Because it is dot 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 dot. It is non terminating. The moment you see dot 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 dot, it is non terminating. So this condition is satisfied. Now is it non repeating, which means nothing should repeat. Now let us look at this. 5 point after the repeating thing you have to check only here in the decimal point. It is 87 after the 285, 285. This 285 is repeating. It means dot 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 means 285, 285, 285 coming. So that set is repeating. So which means it is non terminating and repeating. The non terminating and repeating means what? Non terminating repeating means non terminating. Repeating, but I need non repeating, but it is repeating. So, this condition is failed, therefore, it is not a rash, irrational number, it is a rational number. It is a rational number. Clear? It is a rational number. So, which means a number is either rational or irrational, right? And again, what is the real number? Real number is, real number is. Real number is a number which is either rational or irrational. A number which is either a number which is either rational or irrational. A number which is either a rational or irrational number is called as a real number. Is called as real number. Clear? So, which means a number, if it is either rational or irrational, that is called as a real number. Which means, suppose if you have a bag, if I put all the, re the rational numbers into a bag and all the irrational numbers into a bag, then that bag will have real numbers. The real numbers will have both rational and irrational numbers. Clear? So, you, you have a bag wherein you come and put all the rational number into the bag. Then you take all the irrational numbers and that also you put into the bag. Now, the bag has both rational and irrational. Rational numbers and irrational. So, that, that bag now it has got real numbers. So, that is that is called as a real number. Number which has both rational and irrational or a number which is either rational or irrational. It is called as a real number, which means whatever number that we have seen till now, it is called as real numbers. It will be either rational or irrational. A real number can be rational or irrational. Right? So, this is also a real number, 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 this is also a real number. Under that, we, we separate them as rational, irrational. Under that, we separate them as rational and irrational. Fine? So, um, so, that is the real number. Maybe I will just draw one tree diagram. 
or uh, some kind of graphical representation, diagrammatical representation, then I will stop this. I will end this session. Suppose if you have real numbers, real number, a number is a real number. Suppose if it has a terminating, terminating decimal part or expansion, whatever. There is a terminating decimal expansion. Then you call that as the moment it is terminating, the decimal part is terminating, then you call that as rational number. Rational number. Then that real number will become a rational number when it has terminated. Suppose if the real number has non terminating, non terminating decimal part or decimal expansion. If it has a non terminating decimal part or non terminating, non terminating decimal part means then you will check whether that is repeating or not. Whether it is repeating or non repeating. If it is keeping on going, non terminating, not at all stopping, it is keeping on going like this dot 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 dot. The moment you see dot 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 dot, then you will check whether it is repeating or non repeating. So, if it is repeating, then you call that number as again rational number. But if it is non terminating or non repeating, then that number will become irrational number. Irrational number. Clear? Everyone? Fine. Then we call that as an irrational number. So, a number, real number can have a terminating or non terminating. If it is terminating decimal part, you will immediately call it as a real number. If it is non terminating decimal part, then you will check whether the numbers are repeating, set of numbers or number is repeating or non repeating. If it is repeating, then also it becomes a rational number. Then also it becomes a rational number. If not, if it is non repeating, then it is called as irrational number. That is why a number whose terminal part is non terminating and non repeating is called as a rational number. That is the definition of the rational number. Clear? And again, as I said, real numbers is the combination of both all the rational and irrational number put together. It is called as a real number. Fine. So, we will end the session here and you can watch my next video for the continuation of this. Thank you.